Hello, and welcome to The Changing Paradigm. I'm Dr. Patricia Hill, and today my guests are Susan Trost and Marie Soderberg, who are wellness consultants. Our topic today will be on the potential or possible dangers of cell phones, Wi-Fi, and electromagnetic pollution. Welcome to the show. Thank Thanks. You. This is a pretty serious topic, and I'm not sure a lot of people are aware of it or even take it seriously. There are a lot of conflicting reports about the, the dangers of these things. But you've both done a lot of research, and maybe you can give us a different point of view. Okay, so, um, so I got into it about three years ago, and I have done alternative healing for over 28 years. And I got into looking at the cell phones and the wireless technology, and actually went to a seminar with a doctor, mm -hmm. a medical doctor, and he spoke about the, the problem of it, and that's how I got into it. And I had a friend who was uh, in front of a computer all day long, had a lot of wireless technology around her, and she had complaints about pains in her body, about an inability to focus. And she was forgetting things, and she wasn't even that old. So mm -hmm. pans were burning, and numbers mm. were lost, and all of that. And uh, so we started looking into if it could be that electromagnetic pollution, the, the wavelengths and things. And that's how I started studying it and getting into it. And, and you found that that was the cause? Yes. We found that that was a, the cause of it, and that we, we did several different things around her computer and around the environment that she was working in and her body um, shifted, her mind is now focused and her memory has come back. Well that's good to hear and uh, I think a lot of us are having those kinds of problems but we don't know what it is, you know, and we're not aware of the, the potential hazards of dealing with these things and so many of us, especially children, are spending a lot of time on both cell phones and computers. Yes. Yeah, with children, um, I saw a recent study, they said an average is 3.75 hours per day, oh uh, many of them being well over five hours a day. That's just on the cell phone? On the cell phone, whether it's talking or texting. And the unfortunate thing is a lot of times these kids put the cell phones under their pillows I at night. I read that. They put the cell phone under their pillows so they can text message their friends in the middle of the night if they feel like it. Oh, that's, that's kind of scary. Yeah. And kids spend so much time on computers, too, uh, exactly. with all the different uh, games and Facebook and things like that. iPod and I do Touch <laughs> and all that stuff. We all do. I know. I, uh, in fact, since talking to you and doing the research for this show, I have uh, changed my habits quite a lot. And I am noticing a difference. I was having terrible pains in my body and in fact I had this mysterious pain in my right hand that went up my arm and into my shoulder that would keep me awake all night and uh, I just, I, as I was doing the research on this I happened to come across something that said uh, you know it's not a good idea to keep your hand on the mouse while you're working on the computer and I'm on the computer a lot all and you long. have the Wi-Fi mouse and I mouse. have a wireless computer, a wireless mouse, Wi-Fi, a wireless printer I'm surrounded by this, uh, these microwaves coming in. And I have my cell phone right there, my Blackberry yeah. and the charger and the, mm. So <clears throat> I just simply started taking my hand off the mouse when I wasn't actively using it and then uh, kind of shutting things down and my pain went away. Yeah. How miraculous. Well, one of the things with um, electro pollution is what they call it. Um, it's it's everything. I mean, some people be like, "Well, I don't have a cell phone, so therefore this doesn't impact me." But it's all the Wi-Fi, it's the electricity, it's the appliances. They say since the 50s, we now have a hundred million times more radiation in our environment. And if you could color electro pollution like a smog, we wouldn't be able to see the hand in front of our face. And so it's very prevalent, it's out there. Um, and there's a great website called antennasearch.com and I went out there to see you know, how Aspen, you think you're getting away from it yeah. all, differs from where I live in Castle Rock. And um, you guys had um, 32 towers and 266 antennas within a four mile radius of the hotel we stayed at last night. That's pretty intense. 
It well, is. Well, of course, you know, a lot of people work on their computers from home here, or they they live here and their mm -hmm. work is in New York or, or whatever. So everybody has a computer. Everybody has wireless. Um, another experience of mine, in fact, was uh, when uh, the reception wasn't very good here, and especially at my house, which is in Meadowood. And um, uh, I started feeling kind of weird and... <laughs> Uh, as you were talking mm -hmm. about memory and just couldn't focus and all that kind of thing. But suddenly my cell phone uh, uh, in, uh, reception improved, although I wasn't feeling very good. And that's when I started having these pains. I was having pains in my chest and so on. So I actually got kind of curious. I went out and, and drove around the neighborhood, and there it was. A cell phone tower had sprout, uh, sprouted up right not far from my house. Yeah. This guy is a tree. But it's still a cell phone tower, and I think that that's the cause. I, I'm sure it is. So um, here we are in this beautiful mountain town, bombarded by uh, pollution from EMFs and Wi-Fi. As a friend of mine pointed out to me when I was researching for this show, well, you know, they said, well, you can pick up your neighbor's Wi-Fi. You know, you can pick up Wi-Fi hotspots around town. You just mm -hmm. drive down the street, you can pick up Wi-Fi because it's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. They've actually come up with uh, that 90% of the world has this type of pollution on it. Wow. 90% of the world. I have, a, I have a friend of mine whose daughter is in the, um, is in the Peace Corps in Africa. And she rides on a bus, an old bus, about four hours. And then she gets off the bus and she rides her bicycle for an hour. And she gets to an environment that has no electricity or anything else. Mm -hmm. And she has cell phone connection. I've been in those places. I had the unique experience, in fact, of uh, in South Africa going to see a witch doctor. Uh, because I do research all those kinds of things, a, a native healer. We drove for hours and hours out into the mountains and over hills and rivers and got to this little village out way out in the mountains. And this woman who was the, uh, the healer was talking on her cell phone when we got there. <laughs> You're kidding. What you were expecting. We, we huh? made a joke. We said, oh. who's she talking to? You know? <laughs> No, but, uh, and she had this kind of wacky little ring on it, you know, this, this woman, you know, this big woman with bones hanging around her neck and, you know, dreadlocks, and, and she's got a, her little pink cell phone. <laughs> it was just too much. But that's true, you know, yeah. there is cell phone and Wi-Fi reception in places in the world where they don't even have electricity. They yes. don't have telephones, they don't have water, they don't have anything, but they've got their cell phone. Yes. Yes, the number of cell phones in, in the world right now are four and a half billion. Not million, but billion. And, um, and there's only six and a half billion people. That's kind of... Uh, yeah, yeah. I've wow. met, I've met hmm. people that'll have three cell phones. Oh, my God. One for their oh. business, one for their life, and one for special people in their life. And they're carrying them all around? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear. They have different well, you rings. can only imagine what that's doing yeah. to them. Well, uh, yes, I, I think this is uh, a problem that isn't recognized and it's not acknowledged. Um, yeah. That's part uh, of the problem. A couple months ago, I was doing some research for an article I was writing on the various environmental toxins, how they get in the body, and stumbled across electropollution. And I really didn't know that much mm -hmm. about it. But I did notice that I was having some symptoms, some body pains, some short-term memory loss, and definitely some sleep challenges. Mm -hmm. And then I started reflecting back, and I go, okay, mm -hmm. um, 1,500 minutes a month on a cell phone. Um, I office out of my home, and I had a cordless phone, and those are actually worse than cell phones. Um, eight to 10 hours a day on that, eight to 10 hours a day in front of my computer, Wi-Fi router right by my knee, and then sleeping next to a cordless phone at night. I had Not to mention your probably electric clock and things like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I've now put mine across the room. I, Yay. <laughs> Yay. And, Took and all so, the cordless out. Yeah, after digging through this stuff, researching, we're going to um, 
the clip we're going to show in a minute here actually goes into the U.S. congressional hearings as Dr. Carpenter was one of the people that testified. But back at the end of September, they had, you know, cell phone safety, um, you know, and had people from all industries come in, researchers, you know, that have reviewed the studies and data. Um, cell phone. Yay. <laughs> Yay.